It's really, really nice of you to come here and not go and watch the football. <laughs> I'm, I'm really touched. I mean, that to me is the biggest expression of love that you've given. <laughs> you know, when I started my Rendezvous series, I knew what I wanted to do. You know, I knew the kind of show I wanted to make. But what I didn't know was whether it would succeed and um, who all would come on my show. But I knew that I could count on one person, for sure. And he's the first person I asked, and that's Rishi Kapoor. Thank you. Thank you. you know, we share a long history of a time in our lives that were fun and innocent. And uh, I feel very close to him, and I feel very proud of him, especially of the way he has soared up in his career. <laughs> and now I'm going to present to you the man himself, oh. Rishi Kapoor. Oh. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Melbourne ki awaz nahi hai? Bahut buland hai. Bolne mein buland karne wali baat chala hai. Did you feel nostalgic when you saw all those? Yeah. He's been part of your romance, part of your love life, part of your marriage, so many things. Such a long journey, Chintu, and yes. uh, you've shared it with everybody in a way, haven't you? You know, when um, your showreel was going on, first of all, I must thank her that she has made this showreel. I made this showreel myself. <laughs> With my love. <laughs> and uh, thank you for that. Well, it's my 44th year in films right now. Whoa. And thank you. I cherish and I enjoy every moment. And thank you, Simi. Thank you for that. Uh, Chintu, you know, you started your career with me. Absolutely. I started my rendezvous with you. And so I'm really, really happy to have you here in front of me in Melbourne. She holds a very special place in my heart. She was my first love, my first crush, actually, <laughs> in the film Meranam Joker, if you see that. Mm -hmm. And the way she guided me, she helped me. See, listen, I, I, whatever I've done in the film is only because of Mr. Raj Kapoor, who was our director, and because of Simi. Chintu, I didn't do anything. Well, you, you, you were so patient and you were so, you know... Um, it's very sweet of you to give me credit where it's not due, but I'll accept it. <laughs> We've known each other all our lives, right? We've done three films. Good that you mentioned it because I, I, I remember the first film and I remember you so clearly in the first film. You were so much fun, you were funny, you were adorable. You would do pranks and get away with it because you had such an innocent face. And I adored you. Well, thank you. But I want to ask you what happened when we did Cars and Kabi Kabi. Because there I felt, I felt I don't know Chintu anymore. You know, I got polluted. <laughs> uh, I truly feel that I got polluted. But then it's a very natural process for anyone to mature. No, maturity I understand. But you were, you were professional, you were polite, you were diplomatic. But aloof, you were Rishi Kapoor, the star. Well, let me put it this way, it was nothing uh, um, deliberate. Was it but success? That, to be very honest, uh, Simit, after Bobby, I was flying here. I didn't have my feet on the ground. I, I took so much of credit to the film because Dimple got married. And then, um, I mean, I was... <laughs> no, you're taking it the other way around. Sorry. <laughs> I meant to say that the credit of the film was taken by just me. And she had left films by then. I was a 20-year-old kid brash, being paid so much of money, so popular. I had a lifestyle that had gone absolutely awry. Really? But th oh, and, and thankfully, just after that, then my next release, you know, flopped miserably. Which was that? Uh, there was Zahirila and San. Oh, yeah. I was grounded and I realized, uh, this is a lesson for me to understand that you can't take life 
as uh, as granted but i had forgotten those things what i was taught with my fame and glory and really? all that very honest of you to say that i honest to god i i uh, i was very brash very arrogant which i'm even now <laughs> <laughs> if god said to you rishi i got you born in a most illustrious family i gave you talent and recognition and success what did you do to warrant the gifts that i gave you which film would you show him i would show the shuri ah. why should i show him one reel i think a body of an act in the sense not my body please excuse me <laughs> i meant to say um, the work of his should be uh, analyzed and whether he was worth it or not acha to then which film would you like erased from public memory no stop that actually <laughs> You worked with people like Amit Ji and Vinod Khanna. They were your co-stars, contemporaries. contemporaries. Yes. And now you're also working with Fuad and Siddharth. Yes. And so, how do you compare the way actors are, and who are the ones you admire? See, I like uh, Ranveer. Uh, uh, also, I like that boy. I loved him in this film. Uh, Baji Rao. Baji Rao Mastani. Mm. He actually has lived the role. We in our times never got a chance to live in one film at one time. Mm. Yet, whatever we did, we survived. My son is a very good actor. Oh. And the uh, only thing is I don't sometimes agree with his choice of films. Uh, but, but then he has corrected me. So if I was ever looking after his career, which I don't, because I'm his father, I'm not his secretary. Uh, I would have never allowed him to do a film like uh, Wake Up Sid or a Rocket Sing or a Barfi. Or Barfi. A, I say Barfi. Me kya asal hai? Gunga hai? Behra hai? Kya actor hai? Hero hai kya? People, uh, honest to God, honest to God, during Barfi, before Barfi release. People say that your son is going to be a star in the Amol Palikar way. Oh. He should be a star. There should be heroics of a woman. Um. But the time has changed. That's what I'm saying. He proved me wrong and I'm happy that he proved oh, me wrong. Okay, fine. I'm seeing again a, the third phase in you. Phase one was, of course, Mera Naam Joker, as I said. Phase two was the Kabhi Kabhi and Kar's era. And now I'm seeing phase three. It seems to me like you've suddenly found your voice. because you express your opinions you're honest you're outspoken this is something you didn't do when you're an actor i want to ask you was stardom a, a bit of a burden for you because did it restrict you and you know i guess i'm in a very happy space as an actor mm. i get a lot of respect from my uh, juniors and if i offend them i've always said i'm sorry about it what got you started on twitter i was shooting with uh, anushka sharma in uh, in london so she insisted that i should also be on twitter But I never took it up. I thought it was a waste of time. Then during all the show, I used to see Ritesh Deshmukh very seriously involved, not <laughs> learning his lines, only doing that Twitter. I said, "Yeah, let's concentrate on our work." But poor boy, such a sweet boy. He used to tell me, "Sir, you have seen what I'm waiting for Bachchan Sir to say something on this." Everything. Then when I was working with Abhishek Bachchan, so he actually pushed me in. Then one led to the other, other led to the other. कुछ गालियाँ भी खाई, कुछ abuses, कुछ मार भी पड़े. बहुत मुझे बहुत गालियाँ भी पड़ती हैं. He's funny. He's mean. He's hilarious. Can I just show you some of my favorites? Where? You got it here. That. <laughs> See, listen. Some of them are not mine only. Some of them are forwards. Someone has sent to me an actor, and I've got. I've taken the credit of it. There's another one. <laughs> Oh, there's Bangkok tourism. I love this one. <laughs> Tell me, Chintu, you are writing your biography, yes. aren't you? How many people will have to run and hide? It's going to be a fun thing, you know. It's going to be a lot of anecdotes. What are you calling it? It's going to be Kullam Kulla. You people are going to expect a lot with a title like that. I have not had a very, uh, you know, uh, rangeen or colorful life, as so to speak. I am. <laughs> my God, I'm born in Jersey. As if you know what I've done. <laughs> I have a lot of stories which you probably have not, you know, known about. About when I won a national award and I showed for my name Joker as a child actor, and I went to my father. I said, "Go to your grandfather." And I went to my grandfather, and I put that national award on his feet, and he started crying. So I, my, I felt so. I didn't know what I had done. I had done something wrong, and he said to me something which I did not realize at that point of time. I realized much later. He just said that Raj ne mera karza utar diya. 
Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. So, so you know, people don't know, don't know these small things, but it means so much to me. You know, I've had 10 Kapoors in my frame. There's one Kapoor I haven't had in my frame yet, the 11th one. And I can't wait to get Neetu Kapoor on my show. Can we welcome Neetu Kapoor? Hi. 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 No, I know. I was, I was waiting so outside. <laughs> you are known to be one of the most honest, outspoken, completely non-fake people in the industry. So I need to ask you one question. Mm -hmm. How do I deal with him? That's it. <laughs> You're a mind reader as well. I think I'm quite used to him, you know. We've been married 36 years and five years up before that. So when he goes on the Twitter and something is not all right, when he wakes up in the morning, he knows he's done something wrong. <laughs> and then he sees these flames. <laughs> but let's get the epithets right. You call him Bob. Bob, yeah. Why do you call him Bob? You know, it's a very stupid story. <laughs> okay. So when we were dating, how you know, stupid was that? Yeah. I mean, I mean, when you're a teenager, you know, when you're babies. I mean, I used to call him Baba, and he used to call me Baba. So we used to do all this kuchi puchi. So when we got married, I said Baba looks very stupid. So Baba became Bob. Wow. Bob Sophistication came in. <laughs> You've been in film since you were six. At the peak of your career, you were 21, and you gave it up to marry Chintu. Who wouldn't? I jute a woman in Parliament. People are very careful and shoot me. Why did you do that? You know, in honesty, let me speak for her. You know, to give up a career, a flourishing That's career, right. at the age of 21, it's a lot of guts. A lot of guts. And she did that for me. And I'm thankful for that. I know there has to be one star in a family always. There can't be two. But how have you found your own need for your own identity? How has that been expressed and manifested? I'm not that kind of a person. I'm very happy with to see my husband happy, my kids happy. That's all I want, actually. So you wanted only marriage? I don't like being here, you know, in the spotlight, like I told you, I like to be. <laughs> That's strange for somebody who's been so marvelous, magical on screen. Was I? Was I? Yeah. You were, wasn't okay. she? <laughs> I want to know, what was he like in those days as a boyfriend? Horrible. <laughs> Horrible. What? He was such a bully. You know, I really calmed him down. Whatever you see of him is thanks to me. Because I lecture him all the time and... I, I didn't say that! <laughs> she said that <laughs> because he was such a bully, he was just... I don't know, he was too Jai naive Bhuti. and I could... I you could were very take naive. It. I was very I was naive. Brat, I, told you. I, I, I was I was so scared of him. But scared yeah, scared but now he's scared of me. Now he's really scared. <laughs> I would do my makeup myself in those days. I didn't have a makeup man. I used to do it myself. And he would just come, take my eyeliner and put it all over my face. It was work of art. <laughs> he was just a bully and he just wanted to bug me. That's really mean. But was he uh, very possessive compared to now? He's worse now. He's worse now? <laughs> Need to? He's worse now. Because, you know, I am 58. Uh, why are you giving out age here? Yeah? <laughs> I'm a grandmother. Oh, no, I'm, I'm younger than you. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. So when I travel or when I go for a lunch or dinner, he calls me like 10 times. Where are you? Where have you reached? What time are you coming home? Yeah, chhoot. Don't say very nice. Chhoot to nahi. But do, you don't do that? Maybe once I may have called to find out what is happening. That's it. <laughs> He's possessive about everyone. I'm caring. I'm not not possessive. Yeah. The word is caring. caring. Possessive caring. only only baat hai. No, she asks uh, possessive. Yeah. Right. Then I she's also wrong, you're also wrong. I'm caring. How many caring husbands are there? Husband becomes caring only when he starts getting big hit by us. The chute ghar me padte hai, that's why I'm caring. And uh, romantic? No. <laughs> Romance, all that was to be in her life, her, all in those 14 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's not romantic. Why? 
क्यों कल रात को वाइन पिलाई मेरे दोस्त I think romance is not about uh, candlelight and roses and uh, going out for dinners and saying those lovely words. I think it's only in movies and in fairy tales. Romance is more about togetherness, about yes, yes. how you go on and about your children and the love. And I think that's more romantic than just dilwale dulhaniya le jayenge. You worked in eleven films. Yes. How many films did it take to fall in love? First. No, in Zerila and San, you were flirting with me. Shh, I have no, never flirt. <laughs> this is outrageous, yeah. yeah. You, <laughs> you were trying in Zerila and San, and then it took me three movies to actually say yes to you, to go on a date. And I used to go on a date with him with my brother, <laughs> because my mom wouldn't let me go. So we would drop our brother on the way, <laughs> go for dinner. खाना वाना खा के भाई को लेते हैं ना उनको हम। I'm going to ask you a corny question. Mm-hmm. Who first said I love you? No one. You've never said it? This was you were shooting in Kashmir. I was in Paris, and from I sent you a telegram. Those were mobile ones. तो बाद में हुआ था। दारू पी के मैंने TV एक मिल गया था। अच्छा वो भी दारू पी के। That means you were not generally you said. अरे when you were drinking your 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 true self. Ah, is that right? Absolutely. Tried this evening. I, <laughs> and was he faithful? Always faithful. That's right what I got to believe. Yeah. <laughs> But then you said you were gullible and you were naive. Yeah. बहुत शानी है अभी बोलने में नहीं बात है बहुत शानी है आपके सामने बोल रही है ये गलीबल कुछ नहीं है See, I, I'm not shiny, but I'm intelligent. <laughs> I know practical. exact. I'm practical. I know exactly what's going on in my house. Mm. But maybe there are times I don't say anything. But I know exactly what's going on. I don't care what's happening in the world. Mm. It's my home. Mm. So मेरे घर में जो होता है मेरे को पता है my staff, my husband, my children. So he may think sometimes I don't know, but I know. <laughs> but you know something. You're very lucky that way because. Uh We all know what locations are like and location romances or so many beautiful. No, because you know he's such a brat. He cannot do. Uh, he can't be romantic and he can't have affairs. No, he can't. If <laughs> heroine will say, "Oh, I love you," what? You know, he'll do this. She'll run away. I mean, uh, he, he cannot be that romantic person. They got Hindi Christmas parties. You know, you both seem very polarized personalities. Do your temperaments ever clash? Yes, we've got very. You say, I say. We've got very big egos. Oh. Big egos. That's a big problem. Mm. They like we don't get into a conversation, then we don't have a conversation for a couple of days because there's no one. No one is going to say sorry. Oh, long sulks. Long sulks. Very long sulks. How long? No, I'll tell you what. I don't have such a big ego as you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. tell that to the Marines. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I'll tell you the fact. You, what happens is, if I'm upset with him, mm. if I'm going to say something to him, at that moment he's very angry, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not going to make a difference if I talk to him. So mm. I let it go. Mm. So I don't talk to him okay. for a few days. I let him calm down. When he starts missing me and when he wants to me to talk to him. That's the time I strike. Intelligent scorpion. That's so, what I strike. मैं बोलती हूँ. Love me. So because it's not going to make any difference if I'm going to talk to him. He's going to shout back because he's so angry at that time. So I let it go. I be patient. And then you. So he feels it's my ego, but actually I'm making him calm down. I'm trying to calm him down, and then I will tackle with him. <laughs> Okay, I believe when you did this film, Jab Tak Hai Jaan, mm -hmm. you didn't talk to each other. Yeah, we did one day's work because of Yashji. You know how Yashji was. What are you talking about? One day's job. We did one whole song in a film. We were not talking oh. in the whole song. There was a song from a film called Jhuta Kahi Ka. Jivan yeah. Ke Har Mood Par. Yeah. Throughout the song, you were not talking. We were not married that time. Oh, but but even the song, then you used like to sulk. Four days song. of not talking and not even saying hello to each other. Laughing. Cold show, cold war. I mean, I have heard of a. Whole film, the actor and the actress did not speak. Yeah, that's okay. But I believe your your mother-in-law, Krishna Ji, says 
that you have been married for 36 years, but you have not spoken for 18 years. So actually you are married only, only for 18, 18, 18 years, years because baki to baat nahi ki. But what bugs you about it? Why do you both why do you fight? What's there to fight about? He's <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> he is good, but yeah. Is it that he drinks in the evening? Is that what it is? Is that all you would change in him, um, Neetu? That'll never stop. That Kyo? won't stop. Why? Scotland is not a child who works. Scotland? Yes. Scotland will be closed, so they will be closed. Doing a service for Scotland. Now yeah. I get it. That's yeah. a good deal. It's a service I do. Altruistic. A, this is my ultimate you know, sacrifice. But do you think you're an easy person to live with, Chintu? No. No? no. no. <laughs> no, no, sorry, I should have said yes. I'm sorry, I should have said yes. Yes, I'm, a, I, I'm not a very easy person to live with because I'm. Jo moop, jo dil mein, wo mein. But there are times when you, ha you cannot hurt people. I said that if I do it intentionally or unintentionally, I'm sorry about it. But you don't say Even sorry. If you want to say I think I should ca carry should a disclaimer not. all the time, you know. <laughs> But then neither of you say sorry, so how can you do that? I Ultimately, the body man only says it. Then I come to him and say, I think we need a talk. Ask you, you here, don't give me all that. Abhi nahi hua, abhi ye piche hua hai. Haan, hua hai. Of course. She's telling the truth. Before coming here. Acha, how would you describe Chintu's personality? Good hearted. Intelligent. You want to go out for dinner? Intelligent. I'll take you out for dinner. Bratish at times, but good hearted. And that's why we are together for so many years. Ditto. Ditto. Self indulgent? Mm hmm. But you're not, because you're a disciplined person no, compared yeah. to him, and he's yeah. self indulgent. Why? What makes you think that I'm not uh, uh, disciplined? What makes you think that I am not body conscious? What makes you think that I favor tonight? He calls me Baba Neetu Dev because I stand on one foot, I exercise, I'm mindful of. My but you feet. don't teach him? He refuses to learn. Uh. How would you describe Neetu's personality? If you had to describe her to somebody who doesn't know her? She's my wife. <laughs> I'm always grateful to her that the lovely thing that she gave me was those two little kids of mine. Bus. <laughs> and the love she gave me, the you know, you know, an actor's life is very difficult, and we are always in in the arms of the other woman. It's a very insecure, innocent until she knows what it takes for another actor. He could be swayed away. He and it has happened in the past very many times. She has been, you know, very, very understanding that, you know, he's at work yeah. and that's my job. Neetu, you used to do a yeah. lot of fasts and mannats for Jess and Toshima for your husband. Oh my God. After you married or even before? All my life, I you think I've been that. doing really? that. Really? kuch ho jai, to I'll do this. All really? my life, I haven't been doing that. Stupid Indian woman. <laughs> Can you all stand up for me? <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to ten. Ten. I knew it. See, now he says, no, I, I have an ego. Look at him. No, no, he's joking. No, she was going to ask me now, scale of 1 to 10, how much Rishi Kapoor love you? I said 10. <laughs> yes. How sweet that is. So you have said I love you to her finally. You know, it's your behavior. Yeah. It's your connect mm. that speaks. How you understand mm. each other, that is very important. That is what is really actually is love. Like most marriages, you've had your high points and you've had your turbulences, mm -hmm. which of course in your case becomes, you know, public knowledge. There were emotional moments that you went through. Mm -hmm. What pulled you through? I think basically I'm, I'm a very strong person. You are. So is he. And I feel everyone goes through good times and bad times, mm -hmm. good days, bad days. But then you have to be strong enough to go through it and then forget about it and it's behind you. You don't just go on with life. Never had any major differences, never had, you know, at any point of, of separation or anything like that. You know, squabbles happen, this is what life is all about. It's part of life. We have accepted it gracefully and we talk about it openly and I have no, uh, I don't feel ashamed to saying that, yes, we have had a share of fights, yeah. we have a share of love, we have had a share of, you know, some lovely moments as well. Given the chance, 
would you marry Chintu again? Definitely. 100%. <laughs> Minus the alcohol. Hey, he's going to be. He's going to be. He's going to be. He's going to be. Gone. Shraki Hotel. Hey, Prabhu. <laughs> then I don't want him. And I'm so happy because, you know, I think the best thing from your union, I mean, your relationship aside, is this amazing Ranbir that you've given us. The most beautiful thing about Ranbir and Ridhima, they are both very, very humble, unlike him. Yes, I would say that. I mean, he still doesn't look at his father's face and I he talks, know. he looks down. See, Ranbir, a bit too bad. Look at him. But why? Says, no. He just gives him respect and he's just very, very grounded. He's very simple. So do you guide him and uh, help him in his no. career? Do you praise him? Do you criticize him? I don't see his films only. I've I stopped seeing his films. I'm very critical. I'm not, I'm enjoying, I'm not enjoying the film. I'm saying, why is he looking yeah, there? Why is he been there? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not following the film. I'm trying to, I'm being very analytical of him. Why? Is but that is me. No, he's stopped watching. That is me. That's why I stopped watching him. He said, what will happen? Timmy, are you like uh, Raji was with you? Are you with your son like Raji? No, was? we had no connection. I have, I'm sorry to say, even you I do, don't have you a. You become like that subconsciously. Yes, I am. If she knows, she tells me that. I don't have. You see, there's a wall between us. Ek shisha hai hum dono mein. We, hum dekh rahe lagam ek dusre ko feel nahi kar pa rahe. Kyun? Because I, probably I think the fear. I had a fear of my father. I was in awe of him. I remember. I know you must have seen me in those Many days. Many times. Somewhere between me and my father, I just could not because he was not my father, he was my guru, he was everything, mm. you know, like what he was. So I had great respect for him. It took him long to tell him, have a drink in front of me. I never smoked in front of him. It took him a very long time. I used to drink also. <laughs> they think this last time I was drink. Did you to call him sir? Mm. Saab ji, I used to call him Saab. So I think sir, he's used to that, that kind of a relationship. So he can't. So he's maintained that with his. He can't soften yeah, yeah. and become. Don't you but feel? But I'm a loser. No, I'm feeling I'm losing. Aren't I'm you losing, losing out? Yes, I am. You're I missing am. out on the. Most I, I, but I don't know now whether it's gone too far long or what is it? No, you are the no. parent. It's you who can change it, not the boy. See, it's not something which he I'm doing. He must crave for your love. Come on. But he does. It's not something does, that I'm doing deliberately. He? It is just a very natural phenomenon. But you know? change. Uh, perhaps I have in the sense that now we have more communication. Now that we don't live under one roof. So there is more communication. There's more, of course, there was always love. He talks to the mother more than me. To say the fact that because I was the, always the man who was working. The kids were with her. So obviously they are more attached to the mother. But now... The but thing a father can't her. take the place of a mother. You know, he has a special role. In parenting, the father is such an important role. Totally agree. But I that's that delicate. Ranbir will also become like Chintu when with his kids. I don't think so. He talks about that to his mother and. Uh, right. Chintu, it's so easy. You're such an affectionate person. It's so easy for you to just stretch out, break that glass wall, and say, "Beta, come on, let's go on a See, holiday I, together." No, I don't think I made that way. But why don't you? I am go? not. I'm not. I don't believe, and I do not want to believe that I'm in a backslapping relationship with my son. You don't want there to has to be some kind of respect yeah, for a father. Th this is what I am not. I, mean, I cannot take that. I had that with my father. My father had with his father. I can't do that. Ah, bache, and you're talking about bloody chicks and you're talking about girls. Not and just, chicks and girls. No, no, I'm not that kind of a man. Generally, I can't talk about your girlfriends. I can't talk about. Yeah, I, we can talk about anything over the dining table. We can talk anything between in your in your study in your room or whatever. But I'm I'm not that. Well, all that time. But both now you don't have to go the other extreme. That, yeah. um, I am but you know, these days fathers are bonding with their sons so amazing. Maybe that's my, my I'm losing out on something in life. Yeah. But you can still get it. So uh, yes. I have to tell you an incident. Yeah. I was away for a few days and uh, Ranvi was home and I kept calling him, saying, How are you doing? He said, I've gone, I'm having dinner with Papa, I'm having doing this, I'm doing that. So when I got back, I said, How was it? We had quite a few quiet moments. <laughs> He said, Kuch nahi, baati nahi hai. dinners pe jate te, khana khate te. What is it talk? Really? Kuch so, baat karne ke liye? Itna kuch hai I baat have to be there in the house for the conversation to happen. Very true, very true. If I'm not very there, true. there are quiet moments. Don't you want to know what he thinks, how he no, feels? No, no, no. He, he talks a lot. He can talk a lot. But when the kids come, they need me to break the ice. I don't know. Chintu's not like that. I'm surprised to hear this. It's he's so communicative. I think he's, he wants that that kind of uh, respect. Not to uh, cross. Maybe I don't have. Maybe I don't have those skills. 
I am not, I am not, you no, do, I'm maybe I am not. Uh, you do. You do, but you, you fear that. You fear you that he might lose his all for you. Disrespect. Yeah, the respect is, for you. Is that what it is? That's all it is. I, think, I don't think so. And b this way you are ensuring that he keeps the duri and, uh, yeah, yeah. and the respect. Yeah. Tell me, Chintu, what do you feel is your role as a dad? It's, uh, it's again, you know, it's, it's how you live your life. Like I, like I said, when they were uh, young, I was never at home. No, I don't want to know all that. Yeah. I only want to know in your mind, what do you feel is your role, your duty as a dad? Well, at this stage, I was always wondering how, what did he make of him, what did he make of himself in life? And this was in New York, and all my technicians and my friends were telling me. That's not the role of a dad. Well, that is where I, I, I've done. And, you know, I knew that he would be in films. But okay, Chintu, think about this. Not today. Go back home and think about this. I know you forever. I can talk to you this way. Go back home. Think about it. What's my role as a dad? And one day we'll meet and talk about it further. But you tell me what's your role as a mom. As a mom? I'm always there for them emotionally. Mm. Every which way I take care of them. Whatever they want me to do. Mm. I mean... I make it happen, yeah. the most impossible things, like when we wanted to go to New York and he couldn't get admission, so I didn't let it go. I waited till 3, 4 in the morning, a.m., and I was calling New York and I wanted that admission to happen because my son wanted it. So if Ridhima wants something, you make it happen. For the people you love. Uh, yeah, you, you, for the people you love. So I, I do a lot for them, even till today, I'm fighting for them all the time. No, I know, I've seen, I mean, I've spoken to Ranbir as well, and I've seen, heard from him of the kind of love that you've given him, and I've always felt he's going to have such a hard time to find someone to match up to you. And maybe that's what the problem is at the moment. Yeah, Where will he get the kind of love that you've given him? It's, See, no other girl, a modern is, girl will match up. But mother's love is always... You know, no, that unconditional special. and it's every mother. Yeah. I, I'm not the only mother. I'm yeah. sure everybody loves their children the same way, but they find their, their way, water finds its way, mm -hmm. I guess. I've seen you both as singles. I've known you both as singles, as a married couple, as parents. Just the other day when you, we were on the, I was standing on the street in Melbourne. I just arrived and you both walked in. And I said, these two are friends who have got married. And I think that is the most beautiful thing about your relationship. You are friends who are married today. You are companions. <laughs> Anything that I've left out that you wanted to know, this is your chance. Rishi ji, aapki hamari kahani kafi milti julti hai, aur aapko sunke laga jaise main aapki jagah betha apni baat suna raha hoon. Bade dil ke saath. Botal ke rishte se. The way you spoke your heart out. Thank you, Neetu ji, and thank you, Rishi ji. My question to you is, you were a child artist, and Simi ji was there, as charming as today. Kabhi man mein khyal nahi aata hai, yaar, age kab karengi? Your compliment towards her. She's complimenting you. I think you have to just say thank you. Thank Accept you. that compliment. <laughs> There's no answer to that. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, I don't know. I'm like her. I take care of myself. I, I work out. I eat carefully. That's it. This is not a question but a comment. In an uh, industry which glorifies marriage so much, and I think working on women empowerment, having a look at how women from subcontinent have got before marriage an idea about, I think it's, it takes very brave people to actually talk about what the reality of marriage is. So well done, thank you. I think we need more role models like that. Yeah. So that girls have an idea before they get into it because uh, having worked with a lot of women, I realized that they get married thinking that it's going to be end of their problems. And so thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you too got one for you. Hi. How hard it was for you to fit into as a bahu? Uh, it wasn't that difficult because I kind of knew everyone. But you know, basically they're all such nice people. They're so warm. Like my mother-in-law, my father-in-law was alive at that time. They really welcomed me and they didn't make me feel like a stranger. Like I would wake up in the morning and I'd take my shower and naha dhoke. I would go to my mother-in-law's room and to touch her feet. So mommy would say, Tu kyu ti jaldi nahali? 
जब तेरा मियाँ आएगा तभी नहाना रात को So I joined some cooking class and I thought let me start some cooking. So I made this kali dal. He had my kali dal and he raved about the dal. Arey kya dal banayi hai Krishna ji? Dekho, hamari bahu ne kya dal banayi? He was just going crazy. You won't believe it. It was the most disgusting dal <laughs> <laughs> you could have. It was so, it was horrible. But it's just the way you know they treated me so and sweet. made me feel so special. and uh, that was their goodness <laughs> <laughs> you know that's another thing i want to say like when we were on a honeymoon and wherever we would go to a new place and this brat used to say dekha bachche ka le aaya hu thank you so much nita ji and rishi ji for sharing your experiences and nowadays especially in melbourne we are facing this problem that young couples i think they have some concept in their life that married life should be just perfect and we are facing this problem of these broken relations what advice will you like to give to our youth today the new generation has lost the tolerance i feel they they just want uh, they're more uh, materialistic i think and very quick to take offense and walk yeah. out and leave leave a relationship it takes so long to build a relationship so easy to break it up and you've got to remember how much you've invested in it emotionally before you think of walking out of any relationship things get better so last time you worked with uh, ranbir like both of you were there in bishram and so that was a disaster <laughs> <laughs> when is the next time you're planning you know the family film like or you know family i think also when you planning family planning at that time <laughs> Uh, th- thank you Arishi ji and Neetu ji I think you are very honest mm. and the life of both of yours is 99% of the reality what we all face anyway we are mm. deeply connected and the most important thing you are so honest in the interview mm. you have lived the life of 25 years as an actor as a father as a husband and you are successful you got your experiences and you are writing an autobiography you are very outspoken you are very politically uh, motivated what do you see the next 10 year rishi kapoor would like to do besides the film industry to make a huge impact to your fans globally to the global population what, what do you see your role why would i Should do you? that here yeah? why would i think of that yeah? <laughs> Jeev Admi you know me for what I am doing what I am I'll leave that and do something else to make it like that Why would I do that That's a very good answer I Yeah because you know you I thought you were narrating an essay not a bloody question No we Thank thought you. there's uh, something in the Rishi Kapoor which is wanting to come out so that raat ko char daru ko baad milna fir dekhna kaun aata hai Oh no Thank you so much Simi beautifully encapsulated that you know it's friends who got married. Rishi ji said that you know real and real life got mixed. Neetu ji, if how your ideal proposal should have been or would have been if you wanted that happening behind the camera or without the camera. I, I should tell him. This <laughs> ring. <laughs> it's about I I'm ready to sell it now. I'll hawk it in the market, yeah. Come on. No le le yeah. <laughs> You will be the hero. Yeah. I wish you from my heart nothing but good times ahead and lots of happiness and lots of joy. Thank you all, Melbourne. Thank you so much. Thank you for my welcome.